Hey GLC, this is just for you, dog. Just for you, I said. Okay, y'all, so this is for all the folks that think the Ray don't ever do nothing. That all Ray, that, but that all Ray does is sit on a mower. Well, I can do that if I want to, because uh, people can't seem to, seem to forget that, uh, well, I started this business. I don't hire guys uh, to do things that I, that, that, that I want to do. So if I hire you <laughs> and you come out here and I'm paying you, know that you're probably going to be doing all the weed eating. I mean, I don't, I don't even know what to say to that. Somebody was saying something about Ray, Ray wouldn't even weed eat. I don't have to weed eat. I hire guys for that. So here we go. See, I kind of sprayed right there. Nothing will grow there anyway, so I don't have to weed eat right there. All right. And this doesn't have to be edge. I'll, I'll touch it up, but it ain't got to be. Every property got to be like that, right? No, no, no. They don't. Every property's different, you know? Y'all can see over here, I spray, I spray all that. Those musky dime vines ain't no joke, man. Let me just touch this edge real quick. Yeah. The most weed eating you're gonna see me do today. Unless I feel like doing more. I might feel like doing more. Some days I do, some days I don't. But you think you're gonna come out here to any business like this, uh, and you and you're not gonna be doing all the weed eating when you just started? You're wrong, man. That that don't even make no sense. Well, the guy I got out here now, he don't mind weed eating, man. It, it doesn't matter. Either way, he moves with a purpose, no matter what. But see, I know that guys. You get a certain attitude if, they're, if they feel like they're doing all the hard work, and I'm not. So, there's certain properties that I will weed eat just to kind of keep where they can't say I don't weed eat. Right? But, uh, I, there's, a, there, there's, there's a, a point where I, if I don't feel like weed eating, I'm going to hire somebody to weed eat. That's the job. Don't come on if, you, if that's not what you want to do. Uh, really, really, not not a hard concept. Not a hard concept at all. Uh, yeah. Look good, looking good. We'll tell you, I gotta walk back through here, so let's just touch it up. 
it ain't got to be perfect. It's an empty property, so. We don't, they don't pay for us to weed eat around around all these things. Just right a hover right around the house. And that's why I go on and weed eat because I have told guys to weed eat and they'll be they'll be way back there weeding something. So he don't know what to cut next, so I'm gonna have to tell him. He got done a lot faster than I thought, man. He's a pro though, man, because he he he, he know he understands. The mower needs to be running, whether I'm cutting it in the order Ray normally cuts it in or not. It needs to be running. I don't need to go over there and stop everything so Ray can start, go, run back to his mower and show me where to cut. Just cut the you just cut cut where it's tall. <laughs> Bring it off of that a little bit. That's all one-handed, y'all. That's what I like about that 94R, man. Ain't no joke. And again, it's an empty property, so. so hard too so you know I don't have to do the weed eating I know that I can, I can tell him hey man uh, start weed eating man I'll show you where and I could be sitting on them all right now that's a fact I don't have to weed eat none of that I can get that with a mower <clears throat> all right Okay, y'all, that's 4K. Let's see if it'll, what kind of good footage we get. It's getting warm out here today, boy. It's a typical day working with Ray Ray. How hard is it, man? One third? What time is it? One thirty? Yeah, 
130. Huh? How much you make per hour today, dog? About 30. How much you got to save so everybody here? About $35 an hour or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. That sounds about right. 30, in between 30 and 35. Can do that work. Yeah, we ain't worked that hard. We're letting the machines do everything. But like I told y'all, as soon as he understands that all the properties, watch out. Because <laughs> me and him can do a lot of work, man. He can make a, he can make even more money. You know? I mean, he's not trying to get me to weed eat nothing. What the hell was that all about? Why is somebody, you think y'all think I'm gonna hire somebody, bring them out here, and then I'm gonna weed eat so they can ride on one of my big mowers while I weed eat? It's ridiculous, man. I, I mean, the, the, that's in the job description. Now, I do weed eat, but I, that is, if I'm gonna hire somebody, I'm not, and I'm gonna try to minimize their weed eating too. You know, people that know, people that work for other companies and stuff, they know that because they work for other companies and they know they say, man, these motherfuckers will have you off in a, some hole somewhere weed eating them for an hour when a mower can go down in there and the only reason they doing that is because to give you hours or yeah or, or to give you hours where you can hit 40 hours or whatever yeah, move that pile of rocks over there. yeah yeah move this pile of rocks from that side of the road to the other that's true i mean that's true man not all the time but but that's how you feel when you're in that hole freaking weeding something you know a freaking lawnmower or a bobcat could come in there and blah, 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 be done in five minutes i, I don't like playing those type of games because it, it, because the more the more what we're getting we, we get done the more money i make and then the more money i give away to the, to the guys that work with me i mean it's, it's got to be like that because that's why i don't say hey i'll pay somebody twenty dollars an hour well then they'd want to work a day to get to the same money that they would get in five hours. So they're not gonna be, I think that if you can empower guys to take their, to take the initiative, they can make more money. Guys that work by the hour, oh huh, yeah. Guys that work by the hour, ain't nothing wrong with that and that's the way society has taught us, unfortunately. But guys that work by the hour, well, what happens if they don't, if they're not quite getting enough hours in? What do they do? Well, they got to provide for their family, so now they start dragging the time. Now it's costing the business more to run. And I don't even want to play all games. I just want, all I want to do is say, hey man, here's you know, 150, 160, 200, whatever it is, uh, let's do this amount of work and you get this amount of money. And, and that makes the guy think before he jumps on a weed eater, a mower or anything, makes him think, okay, I need to be efficient. I don't want to be over here walking over there like at Abbey, I know that they waste a lot of time. I know they do. Yeah, and if I don't kill him out here, he can go make another $150, $200 after he gets off work or more, you know? My guy did a, had, I mean, we had a great day, really. Uh, I'm seeing I'm seeing a lot uh, of things that he's doing that just uh, shows that he, he's doing this a while and another thing that i haven't mentioned really yet is he takes extreme pride in in his work uh and sometimes that can cause you to spend a lot of time on things uh when you know when really you got to find a happy medium you know uh i'm pretty good at that uh i i, I don't i mean i never lose customers i, I the customers never fire me I mean, it ain't like, I mean, a lot of people say, you know, Ray, you, you don't know what you're doing or whatever. Well, apparently I know something because how many times y'all seen a customer fire me? I'm, I'm waiting. Right. I, I'm trying to think of when the last customer that fired me. I'm trying to think of when that happened. I'm sure, I mean... I, I, it's happened, I know, but I can't think of the last time it's happened. Sure can't. Uh, most of the time, I fire them. Yeah, 99.9% .9 of the time, I fire them. Because once the customer has me on staff, they, it's hard to fire me. It just is because I make it. I make. I do everything that I said I would do, and it goes back to what I always talking about. Just do what you say you're going to do, and uh, and I do that, and then some. You know. Undersell and overachieve is what I call it. 
I never really talk about that part of the business uh, when people, you know, say I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I play around on the videos and all, but you know, it's it, it's that that's my release. That's my, you know, tension reliever. I don't lose customers, and I keep getting them. I'm turning down work, man. I, I had I had another customer call me, uh, and tell me that uh, well, he he he, he was I was referred to him, but he lives too far away. I'm not going to do that property. So, like I told y'all this morning, I told Justin about it, and then the way the way I do that is I just say, okay, I'll call the owner back, you know, and I'll say, hey man, uh, it's outside of my range, but I know a guy. All right, that's what I'll say. And he'll say, okay, okay, you know, what's his number? And I'll give him my guy's number. And then if the guy never calls my guy, no harm, no foul. I don't, I, I'm not giving my, I'm not giving the customer's number to my guy uh, because, well, then, then you don't really know where you stand. I ain't talking about me. I'm stepping all the way out of it. I ain't got nothing to do with it. But, uh, if I give that guy my my guy's phone number, and then that guy can initiate it instead of uh, us or my guy initiating it, you want them to want you, right? And the only way to do that, the only way to know that sometimes is to give them a phone number, and if they call it, cool. If they don't call it, hey, I'm, I, I never I never missed it. Instead of you calling them, trying to run them down, uh, and you know you know. Uh, where they don't even know you or have any contact with you or anything. I don't, I don't like doing cold calls like that. So, it's just me. Uh, but I'm in a spot in the business where I don't have to do a lot of that. I'm also in a spot in the business, just, just FYI, where I don't have to weed it if I don't want to either. You know? Uh, there's been been some, some tale of somebody out here that's telling whoever, I don't know who, uh, the Ray won't even weed eat. He makes he makes a helper do everything, do all the weed eating. Right. <laughs> That's exactly what I do. There ain't no shame in the game. That's what the helper's for. The helper does good. Can make it out here for a summer, then uh, and and uh, grind and everything. Then next year we'll get him a helper. But you got to be a little patient for that kind of thing. Uh, at least in the kind of business that I'm in. Where I, because I don't I don't make bad moves, you know. Um, contrary to what everybody thinks, I don't make bad. I I just look at uh, when people start talking uh, about me or the business structure or whatever. I just I just shake my head and and and, and wonder. Okay, I don't know how I've done it, um, and still doing it, and will continue to do it. And blah blah blah. I don't, uh, I don't see how anybody with a straight face can say that. I never lose customers. Never, never lose customers. I'll quit them though. When was that? Can, can y'all remember, any of y'all guys that watch, can y'all remember when the last time I lost it, when I actually got fired from, where they told me I don't want you back on my property? I can't, I don't know nobody. You know, I've lost customers, like where they didn't re-up in the year, but I'm talking about during the course of the season. I, I can't think of them. But I can think of some that I quit. I don't want to do it no more. And once, once I get that in my head, I don't want to do it no more. Um, I quit one lady. I, she's been my customer since the very beginning. I quit her because... Well, you know, as as the business grew, she wouldn't allow me to damn uh, be efficient. She thought that, you know, well, she still thought that my business was what it was in the beginning. And, you know, uh, even though I'm buying bigger mowers and better equipment and all that, she, I mean, she, she kept, she kept, oh, I don't need it this week. And then I go over there and it'd be freaking you know, and then, you know, she played a lot of games and I fired her. I, I, I fired, I, I, hell, I, I fired a lot of people. I don't know if I fired anybody this year. I can't remember. 
And they, all the years of stuff start running in together, man, when you when you're out here for so long. But I gotta, you know, and I know I'm bragging on on on, on the new guy, but man, I gotta admit, dude, he's 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 probably as of at this moment, you know. <laughs> Of course, you, you things can change rapidly, as we know. At this moment, he's probably the fastest guy I've ever had out here. Based on, you know, the week or so that he's been, week the two weeks that he's been out here. This morning, I was amazed at how fast he edged in properties. I could not believe it. I mean, he, he he's faster than me, and I'm fast, man. I, I know people don't think that, but I am. I'm, I'm fast when I got a wheel in my hand, and I'm also fast on my feet thinking. So, you know, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't lollygag around with a weed eater. And if you don't, if you don't lolly, lollygag around, then uh, you ain't got to be walking real fast or whatever. You just, you just got to be going that 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 way, y'all, forward.